Hi guys, Gino here and today we're going to do an unboxing and overview of the BM800 Professional Condenser Microphone. I'll also teach you the optimal setup of your mic when it's plugged directly to your motherboard or without phantom power. I bought this mic set for 668 pesos plus 50 for shipping on Lazada. The package includes the condenser mic and the microphone scissor arm. I bought this condenser microphone to upgrade my audio gear. Previously, I'm just using my phone's built-in mic to record audio. On my PC, I used the mic on my HyperX Club 2 headphones for voiceovers. Let's start with the unboxing. So let's unwrap the packaging first. Uh, the name of the seller on Lazada is LNS Accessories. Uh, I'm going to put the product link on the description so you guys can check them. Uh, currently, gamit ko yung mic for this video and I'm just doing a voiceover. And let's check the scissor arm first. So, meron siyang table clamp. Uh, ito yung magfi-fix ng arm sa table mo. Hence the name. Um, so, ayan. So, screw type siya, i-iaano mo lang siya, iikot mo lang siya to uh, loosen or tighten the, uh, the clamp. Uh, next would be the actual scissor arm or string arm. Uh, it's painted in black. Uh, it's metal or aluminum, I think. Uh, the spring is also uh, painted in black. Yung spring, basically, yun yung nag, ano, nag provide ng tension para mag-fix yung pag-swing mo and there's an included microphone mount that's all made in plastic so all in all, three parts lang yung scissor arm so let's unbox now the BM800 so napansin ko, iba yung nasa picture nung box the actual item has no echo and volume knob wala din off and on or a mute button yung mic so for the first item, we have the uh, spec sheet and user guide Next, we have the foam cover or windscreen. We also have a shock mount. This will isolate the microphone from mechanically transmitted noise. Next, we have a XLR to 3.5mm cable. It's approximately 2 meters in length. And finally, the BM800 condenser microphone. For the build, it has a color gold steel mesh cover on the mic with zinc alloy body. And at the bottom, we can see the XLR connector. And for the initial setup, after you've assembled the scissor arm and mic, you also need to plug the mic into your motherboard's I.O. Usually, color pink yung 3.5mm mic port ng motherboard. So on Windows 10, uh, you need to go to Sound, go to the Recording tab, then right-click on the microphone so you can go to Properties. Under properties, you need to go to levels, then increase the mic volume to max or 100. At default, uh, this will just be 47, so you need to increase it to 100. Increasing microphone boost will also increase the mic's volume and pickup, but it will also provide or increase the noise floor level of your mic. So I recommend to just keep the microphone boost to zero. Now for comparison, I'll be pitching in my HyperX Cloud 2 headphone mics against the BM800 condenser mic. This is the HyperX Cloud 2 stock headphone mic with no editing. Sound check, testing mic 1, 2. Sound check, testing mic 1, 2. This is the HyperX Cloud 2 stock headphone mic with editing. Sound check, testing mic 1, 2. Sound check. Testing mic 1, 2. This is the BM800 condenser microphone with no editing. Sound check. Testing mic 1, 2. Sound check. Testing mic 1, 2. This is the BM800 condenser microphone with editing. Sound check. Testing mic 1, 2. Sound check. Testing mic 1, 2. So overall, the BM800 condenser mic produced a better sound quality. The difference was night and day. It sounded cleaner and crispier than the mics on the HyperX Cloud 2 headphones. So if you just started streaming games, podcasting, or making content online, and you need a good sounding mic, uh, the BM800 is a cheap and viable solution. I highly recommend this product. 
So that's it for my overview of the BM800 condenser microphone. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.